intellectual property, it is a bundle of intangible property rights, which are as a result of intellectual effort. So the very simple example we can uh, uh, look at is the Empesa logo. That is a trademark that has been registered as a, an intellectual property for Safaricom. The others would include the Safaricom logo, uh, the name the, the name Safaricom, the name Empesa, uh, as well as other brand names out there that have been registered with the intellectual property office as trademarks. In Kenya, there are three substantive law, uh, laws that uh, govern intellectual property. You have the Trademarks Act, uh, which relates to protection of intellectual property in trademarks. We also have another act called the Industrial Property Act that governs other forms of intellectual property, including industrial designs, utility models, and patents. The first part of call is to assess whether the invention uh, qualifies for protection as a patent. First of all, uh, it must be a new idea. Uh, and two, it must have an inventive step. It has to be an invention that uh, meets what we call the excludability requirement. Once you have established that uh, your invention meets that criteria, then you can proceed to uh, file the application. Our IP laws, both the Trademark Act uh, as well as the Copyright Act, do provide uh, a, form, a form of register in which IP can be registered. And uh, you can then approach them for to, to carry out a search to find out whether that particular mark has been registered before you can approach for instance, to register the trademark. The same applies for, for copyright. There is a requirement for the Kenya Copyright Board, KECOBO, to, uh, to have a, a register of copyright. So if you wanted to, uh, to, to find out whether a certain uh, form of copyright has been uh, um, uh, uh, registered with the KECOBO, you can approach them and make that application and find out that it has been. For patents, you need to have one consideration in mind in the sense that if tomorrow someone else came and made an application before you, their application will take precedence over you and it would mean the protection goes to that person who has made the filing and, and not you. Three things as uh, we mark the World Intellectual Property Day. You, you must, must remember, remember that IP, IP intellectual, intellectual property, property is an asset. asset. It has, it has value. value. You do what you do with every other valuable asset. Protect it. This year seeks to recognize the efforts done by uh, creators, innovators, and uh, entrepreneurs. We must recognize also the, the role that women play in the IP system. And lastly, to note, it is the role of professionals. It is always advisable if you have a professional help, seek it. It may protect your business better.